What's up, bros and hoes, or whatever floats your goat? It's Relentless here, bringing you yet another episode of the build videos of 1.6. Um, I pretty much went over uh, all the basic top tier builds, um, such as Striker, the uh, most versatile build, um, the all high end and named, um, Predator, Alpha, uh, Seeker, which is Tactician. Um, also went over Firecrest, and today I want to bring you the D3 FNC. Now there are multiple ways in which to build this build. Uh, it all is based on personal preference. Um, and in this case, I went with the four D3 FNC pieces with resourceful backpack and a savage gloves. As you can see, I'm at 316 DPS, which is DPS, as we all know, is a fictitious number. You also want to look at your character sheet and not base uh, it on DPS and just how high you can get your DPS because reload speed and other things uh, boost that number and give you a fictitious number, which is you might have a high DPS but still doing low and adequate damage. Uh, 310k toughness and 104k skill power. And on to the weapons. My trusty uh, SASG-12 sausage as my secondary, as per use and per usual, uh, going 96.4K with brutal, responsive, and competent. And the magazine, 109.5% magazine size, reload speed, rate of fire, 24.5% optimal range, 3% create chance, 4% create damage, and the underbarrel, 49.5% optimal range, and 2% accuracy, and 4% critical hit damage. Uh, now, most people are sleeping on the optimal range on certain attachments and for certain guns. And when it comes to the sausage, it is highly, highly recommended that you go with optimal range on your optics and underbarrel. As you can see, I have well over 70% in optimal range. And if you actually uh, go to the stats, you'll see the range on my sausage, and then you'll see the range on this SASG. And you can notice the big whopping difference. I can actually uh, have more range with the shotgun than I can with uh, the converted SMG. Also, I have more range with the shotgun than an MP5 ST. So optimal range is key. Unfortunately, on the S uh, SM. G9, uh, you can't put an underbarrel for optimal range, but you can on the MP5 ST. As you can see, um, it also depends on personal preference of what SMG you want to run with this build. Uh, I choose uh, different versions. Um, MP5 ST is a great one, as you can see here, uh, with Vicious, Deadly, and Unforgiving. Also, I have one with Responsive, Deadly, and Vicious. And also have the Hilder with Responsive, Self-Preserved, and Deadly. Still in search of that infamous air. On my Converted SMG, I have Deadly, Vicious, Fierce with 110% magazine size, 3% create chance, 4.8% rate of fire, 16 per hit, uh, crit hit damage, 3% create chance, 5.5% headshot damage, and my small muzzle, 7.5% uh, crit chance, 4% create damage, 5.5% headshot damage, and 48% reduce uh, threat. So those are the weapons that I choose to use as my primary and secondary. But, you know, given the situation and whether I'm PvPing or PvEing, or in whatever situation you may be, you can alternate whatever is your favorite weapon of choice. But let's get on into the gear. Um, using the D3 FNC chest piece. With 6% enemy armor damage, uh, 16,000.4 health, and in my minor attribute spot, ammo capacity. In the mod slots, 249 firearms, 2% skill haste, 254 firearms, and 3% skill haste. Uh, unfortunately, the RNG gods haven't been uh, kind to me. I've rolled so many mods trying to get uh, higher base firearms with skill haste, but unfortunately, these are some of the best ones I have. But you can substitute um, a D3 FNC best uh, for a Barrett's bulletproof vest. It works out really nice with this build as well. Um, also, you can go for vigorous if you so choose. Uh, even can go with reckless for the extra damage. You can go with rapid to increase uh, faster heals. 
and if you uh, use a rapid chest piece it works nice with a resourceful backpack because while healing yourself you're also are healing your skilled objects so those are your choices um, you can mix and match you can either go with savage or tenacious resourceful and barrett's bulletproof vest the sky's the limit it all depends on your playstyle and how you want to build it and how you more or less want a pvp or pve and based on the squad that you're in or whether you're running solo or duo mm -hmm. uh, moving on to the mask um decent uh base armor roll it's uh really low i wish it was uh at least 980 990 because the thousand and one is the highest you can go um, just as you can see is the tenacious mask I have here and I have several other options to choose from um, but I went with the exotic damage resilience on this one in particular just for cause of the seeker mines that are in the DZ that are just so pesky and also the minor attributes I went with 10% damage to elites to make this more viable not only in PvP but viable in PvE as well and in the mod slots, I have 261 firearms and 3% skill haste. Moving on to the knee pads. As you can see, I have a plethora of knee pads. Also, even have these short bows. So if you want to put short bows in there, then by all means. But this had an awesome firearms roll on it at 1271. Uh, 1538 uh, base armor, which is pretty decent. Disrupt resistance, burn resistance, blind death resistance. Uh, instead of the... Differ disrupt resistance or the blind death resistance i prefer bleed resistance and shock turret resistance those are the main ones that you want in your minor attribute spots on your knee pads if you can get them bleed resistance burn resistance and shock turret resistance for shock resistance because those three are the major uh pesky little things that are happening all over the place in the dz and also in last stand so the more that you can get uh of that on the minor attributes then by all means that is what you want to go for moving on to the mod slots 257 electronics three percent skill haste with three and a half percent ballistic shield damage moving on to the backpack Resourceful backpack, as we all know, all healing applied to you is also applied to your skill objects. I got a good uh, stamina roll at 1267, uh, and a fairly decent armor base roll at 1299. In my major attributes, I'm going 12,706 in skill power uh, to give a little bit more meat to my skills. Um, but if you want to go pure damage, then you can also roll in for create hit damage here. And as always, in the minor attribute slot, uh, ammo capacity. Uh, moving on to the mods, I have 259 firearms, 3% skill haste, 6.5% ballistic shield health, and another 3.5% ballistic shield damage. Uh, on the Savage Gloves, uh, 1256 and firearms, decent base armor roll with 907 SMG damage, since this is basically built around an SMG and the ballistic shield, with crit hit damage or crit hit chance. Now, there are other viable options that are out there, such as these. Since I am specking into skill haste, uh, more or less, um, I lose a lot of crit damage, also crit hit chance. Um, but if you want your skills back even faster, then you can go with something like uh, these. If I... Uh, didn't have to roll the firearms and it already had a good firearms roll then I would most likely uh, Roll enemy armor damage for the crit chance or crit damage Probably the crit damage because my crit hit chance is already so high as it is but Like I said, it's always based on you know what? Uh, your playstyle is and but the three main ones you always want to look for on any pair of gloves with any build is whatever uh, type of weapon you'll be using in this case SMG uh, crit hit damage and crit hit chance but like I said depending on uh, how you build your build um, if you're basing around crit or uh, don't mind losing 5% crit hit chance then you can put skill haste here and make this more viable and that way you get your healing skills back a lot faster now moving on to the holster uh, 1235, 1229, 1229. Uh, decent main stats uh, across the board. I wish there was at least 1250 or higher. Um, as you can see, I don't have many options when it comes to uh, decent holsters. Um, like this one, it has a high firearms, very low electronics. It has the crew hit chance, but and then also a low stamina roll, but the base armor just makes this complete trash. Also, these uh, good stamina, but trash on firearms and in electronics, and then it has reload speed. So that's why I went with these. 
And in the mod slot, I have 7% Ballistic Shield Health. Now going on to my character sheet. As you can see, oh, that's a shotgun. Why is it giving me the shotgun? This game is delusional. I'm going 55.5% crit hit chance. Uh, crit hit damage is 76% with 61% headshot damage. 10% uh, damage to elites, uh, only 6% enemy armor damage. Um, I wish that was a little higher, but you're using SMGs and you're recruiting really high anyways. And as you can see, my skill haste is at 21%. Um, if I switch those other gloves that had 7% skill, ha skill haste on them, but would lose uh, 3% of, actually 5% uh, crit hit chance and crit hit damage, then I can have that up to 28% skill haste, so a little over a quarter of my skill haste back. Now with my survivability, I'm, my max health pool is 214k, and my armor, um, decent, but I wish it was around the, the 32 mark, and that's all based on your base armor rolls on all your gear. Um, the highest base armor roll that you can get on your gear um, is always the best way to go, depending on that it has the stats in the minor and major attributes that you want, and also in the main stats as far as stamina, electronics, or firearms. Basically, this is the build. Um, let's go into the ballistic shield. Uh, you have to use the base one. And as you can see, my health is 586, 475 in health, 17% uh, increase in damage, and 10% damage reduction with a cooldown of 27 seconds. So if you... Uh, if I chose not to put on those 7% uh, shield health, then I can add ballistic shield damage, stack on top of that, and that would increase the damage output uh, to the weapon that I'll be using. So I have 7% on there as of right now. Uh, I could add two more of those. Unfortunately, I don't have. Thank you, RNG. Bah, screw you. Um, but also, I can get that up to even higher to add 24% damage increase which is very, very nice. And some might say, well, your health on your shield needs to be a little higher because you have very low skill power at 104. But that's why you utilize the resourceful backpack. So that way, when you do pop your heals, it also heals your shield at the same time. If you pop a med kit, it heals your shield at the same time. So all these things play a factor in. So that's why if you choose other such as specialized backpacks, so that way your health is even higher with higher skill power, um, that is one option to go. But in turn, when you pop skills or med kits, it will not heal your skill objects. So I recommend running the resourceful backpack when using this build. Uh, moving on to the talents. Since basically you're going to be the one aggroing, I recommend on the move, uh, kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 15% for 10 seconds. Uh, it affects agents and it uh, benefits damage reduction. So if you're in PvE situations, I run this a lot in Lexington. Um, very, very easy to run Lexington with this type of build um, because you're constantly face tanking more or less, but yet your shield is taking all the damage and you can apply that damage right back in return to all those NPCs. And then when you're using your heals, you heal your shield and rinse and repeat. And you get that nice uh, incoming damage reduced by 15%. Uh, and all these are situational. Yes, I have triage on because I usually run in a group. So that way I can get my heals back even faster by using triage and let my teammates run out of it uh, one at a time. So that way I get that uh, heal cooldown even faster. Also, I'm running Adrenaline Medkit, now heals over 10 seconds and will not stop healing when taking damage. Uh, if you don't have this on, usually when you pop a medkit, since they don't give you absolutely nothing, um, it immediately goes away. So there is no point in you know, trying to survive when you're waiting on your skill healing skill to come back to pop a medkit because it's just going to be a waste. Um, the only way to really utilize a med kit is either have this equipped or by using a tenacious mask. So that way you get the 10% bonus damage increase in the process. So the med kit with the tenacious mask has become an offensive weapon. And also I'm using critical save. Use a med kit during low health to increase damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. Um, this one is interchangeable with other things depending on who you're playing with. Um, you can go strike back. 
and strike back, reach low health, reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. But your shield's going to be taking most of the damage, so you want to position yourself in a way that you're not getting shot from the sides or from behind uh, when doing such uh, incursions or when you're PvPing, so it's all situational. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any suggestions or want to see anything else or um, let me know how you perceive and your game style and play style on which on how you run this build where whether it be uh, on pvp or pve you can leave those in the comment uh, section below uh, and i just want to say thank you to everyone we are almost at 1k subs i believe now we're only uh 17 away from hitting that 1k sub mark and i'll be giving away that ps4 pro or an xbox s so if you're not sub to the channel uh please sub so that way you get a chance to enter in and also there is a patron link down at the bottom you can click on that and see the rewards and by coming a patriot uh patreon uh there's many benefits the very first one's for just a mere dollar a month uh, you get double the entries into all giveaways, and there'll be a lot more coming since now I'm sponsored by Cinch Gaming Controllers. Um, you can use code uh, 4026 or the link that's also in the description to receive 5% off on all products by Cinch. They're a great company with uh, great grips uh, and also great and awesome controllers in which you can remap your buttons just by using an app on your phone. Um, but that's about it. Uh, please like that, hit that thumbs up button if you would. It'd be much appreciated. Sub if you're not. And thank you for the loyal subs that I already currently have. And we'll see. I got broads in Atlanta. She's a Dolene, the family. Credit cards in the scammers. Hitting the licks in the family.